So I just picked up this 45 degree router bit set, 45 degree chamfer router bit set. Sorry, I'm still new to. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Can I help you? Do you want some nuts? Oh, I have nuts. Where are my nuts? Where are my nuts? Let's see if you like the cashews. Did he get it? I don't even know if he got it. Alright, so back to where I left off before I was rudely interrupted. So I picked up this 45 degree chamfer router bit set off Amazon for $13 for four pieces, which was pretty interesting because uh, when I was looking at Home Depot's website for a Diablo brand chamfer bit, for a single one they were charging $30. And nothing against Diablo, but I've used their chamfer bits in the past and they're pretty good, but I abuse them quite a bit. Like this one here is actually a bit damaged. Let's see where's my finger. Uh. This one's already chipped one of the blades after you know a few times of use, so nothing against them, but I just I just abuse my bits sometimes. So I figured why not abuse you know thirteen dollar router bit set than a single router bit that's you paid thirty dollars for. So uh, I just wanted to get my first impressions in terms of delivery. I got this the same almost the same day, essentially the same day. I ordered this yesterday afternoon and I got it this morning the following day. So in terms of delivery, five stars immediately. I tested it out on some scrap pieces here. I never used a chamfer bit before, so I kind of messed up on this first two passes here. So I think I, I went not high enough on the first one, then I went too low, so it kind of gave, gave this weird detail here. Then I went up a size to a, what's the sizes they have? So these are the sizes they have. I used the first one here, the, low, the smallest one first. Then I went up a size to this 25 64 inch one here. And this is how this one looked. Pretty good. I I got zero tear out. Pretty clean. My only complaints were the bearings off of these gave off a lot of oil. So it kind of stained this oak. I don't know if it would end up doing the same thing on my main piece, which I'm currently doing. I'm doing a self-standing mirror. Um, using a recycled mirror stand from Ikea that somebody threw out. But I wanted to test it on some scrap before putting it on the main piece because, you know, $13 router bit set. Obviously, you should test it out on some scrap before doing it on your real piece. But I did a quick pass here, and just off of this alone is pretty good. I'm about to test it on this wider piece just to have a better idea how it would, work, how it would look. Um, so, yeah, let's test it out right now. Hearing protection. That thing is loud as hell. All right, so the travel about six inches down. In terms of performance or cleanness. It's a pretty clean line. This is red oak hardwood, by the way. Zero tear out. It's got like a bit of some flakes here from before, but this is not tear out. I, I don't think it's considered tear out, I believe. So if you sand this, it will look pretty clean. I did have a bit of burning here, but I think I just, cause I left this here for a little too long than I should have. This time there was no oil excess, fortunately, which is the thing I had on this piece. Yeah, this one had quite a bit of an oil stain here. I think that was just on the first one. The second one didn't have that much oil. It still stained it a bit over there, but no oil here. So if you were to get this, I would just run this through some scraps just to get rid of any excess oil, unless there's a way to clean the oil, excess oil off, I don't know. But in terms of performance, very good, five stars. Delivery, definitely five stars. Price, definitely five stars. You're paying $13 for a set of four, so you're paying $3 and some change for one chamfer bit versus paying $30 for a name brand like Diablo. On the price alone, I would say it's worth it. Even if these don't last as long, which is, I guess, the main concern is durability. Even if this were to last only half as long as a single Diablo brand type of chamfer bit, Having four of them alone, you know, it, la it would last twice as long for half the price if you were to look at it in that way. So, 
price, delivery, performance, I would say all five stars. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. I'm about to use it on this mirror frame stand that I'm working on. If you want to see how that, how this works or how this performs on this, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to upload this video hopefully in the next couple of weeks. So here I'm going to show you a sneak preview of how I'm going to use these chamfer bits. So my mirror stand has the frame and then these back leg supports. And the back leg supports are about three quarters of an inch thick. And I'm going to be using the chamfer bits to create a transition from the back leg to the back of the mirror frame. Because the mirror frame got rabbits in them. So that part got narrowed by an eighth of an inch. So by using the chamfer bit, I can make it look more seamless, if that's the right word. And again, in terms of performance, there wasn't any tear out. There was a section of the back legs where it was very thin, and I was concerned that the router bit might tear it off, break it off, and fortunately it wasn't. So yeah, I have high hopes for this bit to work really well for this project as I get further to completing it. Now that the back legs were reinstalled to the back of the frame, the real test is to see whether or not the mirror can actually fit while the back legs are installed. And amazingly, it fit just about perfect. I think this actually helped a lot. It's like barely make clears it. Like if this wasn't, if this chamfer wasn't there, I don't think it would have come out, go in. So then chamfer definitely helped. So yeah, thanks for watching. Again, if you're interested in this product, I leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And yeah, consider subscribing if you want to see how I use this chamfer bit for the rest of this build. This video should be coming out very soon, hopefully in the next week or two. And yeah, thanks again and take care.